Hey kids, it's Outrun on Sega Genesis. Cool, huh? Released in 1991, Outrun is a port of the arcade racer of the same name. And for the time, it was a neat showcase of the Mega Drive in that it was able to bring the arcade experience home. And then you went out and found an actual Outrun arcade machine because trying to drive with a D-pad is kind of useless. But regardless, Outrun has you driving a car down a track and then you hit a fork that splits into two paths and you pick a path and you keep going until you reach the end of the road or you run out of time, whichever comes first. Outrun on the Genesis is a perfectly fine conversion of the arcade game. It's based on what some would call the old version of Outrun as opposed to the new version of Outrun which means your first fork will lead you to either a dirt road or a lush garden, which is contrary to other versions of OutRun that I've played where your first fork led to either these cliffs or the arches. So a version of OutRun that ran contrary to that, I thought that was the Genesis being unique, and that's when I learned old and new OutRun was a thing, or whatever they called it in the Sega Ages thing on the Switch, international or local or whatever the case may be, whatever, who cares? Doesn't matter what order these segments appear, what matters is how it plays, and OutRun plays about as well as you'd expect on the old Mega Genesis Drive thing. A fairly good conversion of the arcade original that doesn't quite hit the mark in some places due to hardware limitations, but for the time, it was probably one of the better ports of the game. Runs well enough despite the frame rate, doesn't chug or slow down at any point even with all those cars on screen. Control is the key thing here. Naturally, going from a steering wheel control setup to a digital D-pad is going to be a downgrade regardless. But for the most part, and despite my earlier quip, OutRun does have some good control, about as responsive as you're going to get driving with a D-pad. It does work, it's responsive, and you also got some options to customize the button mapping to your own preference. There's also a difficulty setting for those who are not very good at this game or vice versa, and the option to go with miles or kilometers on the old speedometer. I mentioned the frame rate a while ago, and it's not as smooth as the arcade, which had that super scalar gimmick I think it was called, allowing for smoother zooming of items. The terrain doesn't quite zoom as smoothly here and almost reaches master system levels of choppiness. That said, OutRun does look pretty good. The cars look pretty good, background scenery is alright. In terms of nailing the look of the arcade game, this Genesis port comes pretty close. And OutRun has also done a solid service in the sound department. The arcade's three signature tracks are included and they all sound pretty good on here. And there's an additional track, Step On Beat, which... It's alright, I don't really care for it, but I'm sure it has its fans. Sound effects are somewhat minimal, you don't have the constant droning of the car engine running, which is fine because it doesn't kill the awesome music, but the few sound effects that made the cut are serviceable if not weak sounding. Overall, OutRun got a good conversion on the Mega Drive, probably the closest to looking the part for the time, and it plays fairly well as well. While it doesn't quite hold up over time since OutRun has been brought over to other hardware that's more than capable of replicating that arcade original a little better, it's still a perfectly fine conversion of this classic game and certainly one of the better racers on the Sega Genesis. A fine port of a Sega classic.